we would have, in this group, we would have five basketballs, and we throw it out. Roll a couple, you got two more balls down there, just one. So we just start practice. Each one of you guys have a ball, okay? All right, throw one to those guys. Now, we just go, ready, go. We blow the whistle, throw it, throw it to them. That you close out, you close out, and that's it, you hold it, okay? I always say you start wrong, you finish wrong. You come out with a bad closeout on a good player, and you're like this, all right? In the corner, we want him here, okay? If the ball was at 22 feet, and it had to be at 22 feet all over the court, where would you want the ball as a defender? Right here, all right? We got five, def we got five defenders. When the ball's in the middle of the court, it's the last place we'd want it. So you know what that means since that's the last place we'd want it? That's the last place that you would gamble. Never reach for the ball right here. You know why? You know why? Everybody's one pass away. All right? You're most vulnerable when the ball is right here, especially if people have flattened out. Okay? If they have flattened out, you're, the, you're very, very vulnerable. Now, he comes, stay right there. He comes up on the wing and he's playing right there. I got your help, I got your help, I got your help. And I'm in there, you're not as vulnerable because you have me. But one-on-one -on -one basketball, that's where you're the most vulnerable. You have the most help here, especially if we can knock this post out if he's in here and we're here and we got weak side defense, all right? That's where we talked about force into the corner on the wing, all right? So we start, now these guys would rotate. Offense would stay the same, they'd go out. We get five closeouts in a row. We do it really quick, we throw our hands up. Anytime you throw your hands up in a closeout, if I want my left foot to be a little bit more, my left hand's gotta be a little bit higher. It's impossible to get your feet. So if I throw my left hand up, it brings my left foot forward. If I throw my right hand up, you'd be surprised with, with people, they'll do this and automatically you've been here. Anybody who's ever taught you anything about one-on-one -on -one basketball, you always attack the top foot because when you beat me on my top foot, go. I got two choices. I got that, which is a foul, or you go again and I got that, which is giving you the alley, all right? Very few people are gonna get into that one-on-one -on -one basketball if he's any good and he can play and have that top foot right there and you attack that top foot. So we want our feet to be right. You start right, all right, you finish right. You start wrong, you finish wrong. So we wanna get this here. We wanna know who, he's in, who he is from a shooter standpoint. So once again, are we physically doing something? Yes, we're physically doing something, but are we mentally thinking about an intelligent closeout. We'll get guys that don't shoot threes, and then we'll get in practice and we'll get here, and that's our closeout. Our influence is still the same, whether that's Reggie Lewis or that's Rondo, okay? Excuse me, Reggie Miller, okay? It's Reggie Miller, but that's Rondo, all right? Our influence is the same. Reggie Miller, we can't let that happen. On Rondo, we gotta keep him right here. If he wants to pepper that three right there on us, we'll contest on our feet, and he can have it all day because the numbers say so. All right, so you play the numbers, you, but you're making these guys, it is starting practice, right? And we were when we played two, okay? All right, it's starting practice. So if you don't get them in the right frame of mind and you don't get them thinking, because what do we like to do? We like to, okay, let's get some shots up. All right, well, I just gotta, if we're gonna stop Michigan and we're gonna beat Indiana, we gotta, we gotta guard them. We gotta be intelligent. We gotta know what the hell we're doing, so we gotta know if this is Karis LeVert. We gotta know what he can do. We gotta not let him beat us. So, and I'll get to some ball screen type stuff, just to kind of, so we're always starting practice sometimes with three, four, five minutes of closeouts, and it's not one-on-one -on -one closeouts crazy, all right? It's not, because you do need physical reps. I'm not saying that, but you can't go, in my opinion, three and a half hours every day, physical reps, from September to April with it. They gotta be here. It's got, they gotta be able to physically be able to do it. You gotta work on it. But every single day to start practice, we try to do something of this nature just to get them into that thinking, to get them to understand what's going on, to you know, be ready to play, and get our defensive set into what we wanna do.